Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and today we are looking at what we're making with our Play-Doh and our squishy circuits. And one of the ingredients in our conductive dough is cream of tartar. Now you might wonder, why in the world am I adding cream of tartar to this Play-Doh? And it's not necessarily what you would think. It's not what's adding the current or the ability for this Play-Doh to conduct the charge into it. It's actually an acid that is preserving your Play-Doh. And it's also making your Play-Doh nice and stretchy. So as you mix in the flour and the salt, the flour has these sort of long proteins. And if they get all globbled up, it gets really breaky and really sort of crumbly, like a biscuit crumble. If we add the cream of tartar, however, it sort of messes up the ability for those proteins to get all crumbly, and it forces them to sort of stay away from each other just a little bit. And that's just enough to make it nice and stretchy and elastic and it also happens to preserve it. Now, it might add a little bit of charge, but that's not what's causing the salt Play-Doh to conduct. In fact, that comes down to more of the salt, because when the salt goes into water, it's gonna split up into two things, sodium and chloride, because our table salt is sodium chloride, and sodium is positively charged, and chloride is negatively charged, and now we have two types of charges in our Play-Doh, and once we add a, um, a battery to it, some sort of push or a voltage, now you can move those charges which creates a current. But the cream of tartar just makes it last longer and it also makes it feel nicer. And so that's the, why the cream of tartar is in our Play-Doh. Hopefully you're having a great time with our Squishy Circuits Lab. You can always follow us on our projects on Facebook and Instagram to get great ideas of kids' science. And you can pledge to be a supporter of our labs on Patreon. Mm -hmm.